Amazon was slammed with accusations of disregarding employee safety back in March during the early days of the coronavirus outbreak. Since then, America's biggest e-commerce company claims it has implemented protocols to keep workers from getting sick, including the use of artificial technology. Louise Matsikis is now with us. Uh, she has a look at the impact of the new AI system. She's a staff writer at Wired. She covers Amazon and online culture. So, uh, Louise, first explain uh, what is this system and how it works. So Amazon is using a few different tools, but the biggest tool they're using right now uses cameras in the ceiling, and what they do is they sense when people get too close together. So every couple of minutes, these cameras are capturing pictures of what's happening on the warehouse floor, sending them to reviewers who will look and see, okay, are there people in this image? Do they look like they're too close together? If they look like they're too close together, Amazon will send that information to managers of the warehouses and say, hey, you might have a problem here. The cameras can also detect when there are more than 15 people gathered in one area in the warehouse at a time. So, you know, if there are these bottlenecks, House where people are getting stuck too close together, the camera will say, hey, you know, manager, you might want to check this out. Okay, so I guess it sort of makes sense. Like, a man managers can't be everywhere all the time, but there is a little bit of a creep factor with these cameras sort of watching you. So I'm wondering, you know, does Amazon say this is successful? And, you know, are they also sort of factoring in how the employees feel about having these cameras keeping track of the way they're gathering? I think those are great question. So some of the employees that I spoke to were actually unaware of whether or not the system was in place in their warehouse. So it's not clear whether or not this is something that's really being communicated to the employees on the ground or if it's kind of just something that the managers are aware of. Amazon says that they've deployed this technology in a thousand buildings around the world. So it seems to be pretty successful. But I think it's still to be seen how the employees are reacting to it. I think it's important to note that Amazon says they're only using this technology for social distancing and, you know, applied to COVID-19. They're not using it to monitor, you know, labor organizing or, you know, to spy on employees. But I do think that there's a chance that some of these workers might find it creepy. But, you know, they're already working in an environment where there's so much surveillance. You know, every single move that they make is very calculated. It's a very regimented workplace, uh, often filled with robots and all sorts of technology. So I do think that these are employees who also might be kind of used to the really high-tech workplace that they're part of. Hmm. Well, uh, so I'm curious. Amazon workers released a petition a few months ago with demands for the company uh, to implement uh, safety measures during the coronavirus. Does this system address any of the demands specifically that employees had? Yeah, so employees across the country and across the world, really, at Amazon reacted to the coronavirus pandemic and said that their safety was not being prioritized, that profits were being put above all else. And I think that a lot of the employees I spoke to are still upset. You know, they still want higher hazard pay. Uh, Amazon previously allowed them to take unlimited unpaid time off, but they've now cut back those benefits. Um, so I think that the workers are still unsatisfied. We're also still seeing outbreaks. You know, in Minnesota, there was a recent outbreak where you know, nearly 100 Amazon workers are infected at a warehouse there. I recently spoke to workers at a warehouse near Houston. Uh, who are seeing, you know, their case numbers rise. So I think while this technology is impressive, I think that the workers are still, you know, worried about their health, worried about their safety. And this is a really important omen, I think, as more and more Americans are going back to work. I think, you know, even for a high-tech company like Amazon, you're still going to see these issues. You know, no matter how much technology, there's still a virus, there's no vaccine, workers are going to continue to get sick. Uh, and I think that that's going to continue to be a challenge. And I think that these workers are not necessarily satisfied with, you know, AI cameras in the ceiling. But they really want their health prioritized in the long term. Yeah, I mean, they've been ramping up. Uh, goodness knows, many of us have been depending on Amazon because we're not going to, to stores. Um, and, 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 you know, it's not a sealed, closed environment. I mean, people leave, they go home, they go to the grocery store, they do things, and they come back to work. So it's difficult to even determine um, where people pick up the virus and where they don't. Um, but it, I wonder if Amazon is leaning into technology. Are they working on any other um, remedies for this using technology? Yeah, so they're testing a number of other uh, solutions for social distancing. So in some warehouses, they're using these Bluetooth devices where they'll beep if you get too close to another worker. Um, they're testing augmented reality where, like, there'll be, uh, you know, a circle on the ground that teaches you how far is six feet really. 
Uh, so you can, you know, walk up to somebody and it will, you know, your circle will turn red if you're too close to that. And most of these technologies are just in the early stages of development. But I think that Amazon really has an eye for not only using this stuff in their own warehouses, but leasing this technology to other companies. It's a really smart strategy to kind of lean on their technology because every workplace is going to need to think about these issues. All right, uh, Luis, thank you so much. Really interesting stuff. Thanks for having me.